I really need your help. When you leave here today, I want you to be more than just inspired, but so much you are moved to action. What kind of action? Let me start by telling you my story. Both my parents went to prison when I was a teenager. And all three of my brothers ended up in jail for different reasons. One got caught up in gang activity. Another one just hung out with the wrong crowd. And the third one decided to commit an armed robbery. Honestly, when that happened, I was lost. But I knew that I wasn't a bad person. And in my heart, I knew that I needed my son. Being a 17-year-old with no family and a baby on the way, I was scared, but I knew I wanted a better life. And, and in my heart, I didn't know exactly how to get there. So I, I could have walked away, but I knew how hard this world is, and I knew I needed my son. So I fought for him, and now I'm raising him. I wanted a different and better life, but didn't quite know exactly how to get there. Marsha from St. Luke kept pestering me about coming to church. I made up all the excuses in the world not to come. I think I created a couple of new ones myself. <laughs> but she stayed on me. <clears throat> Excuse me. About coming to church and finally lowered me in by asking if I could help move some chairs. And that was it. She just needed to get me in those doors. God took over from there with Martha's guidance, of course, and continued to help. She even helped me get my driver's license. Thanks to the guidance of my church family and friends, I'm involved in many different outreach programs, like driving the church van to pick up our youth five days a week for our Kids for the Future program. And I'm most proud of being Volunteer of the Month three times at Lamar Millage Elementary School where my son was a student. I'm also now involved in a program called Grow Hasburg. Grow Hasburg is a community effort to all get us eating healthy. Kids can't focus on their work if they're hungry or only eating junk food. Through Grow Hasburg, we teach kids to grow vegetables, to cook healthy meals, and to involve them in all of it. I also get the youth to help set up the tents and tables for the weekly farmer's market. And we also build vegetable gardens at people's homes, and we include kids in all of it, including my own, to make their own school lunches. And while I'm in the process of being a mentor, while being a mentor is a great thing. As I was being, excuse me, as I was being mentored and lifted up by loving and caring people, I felt and saw a transformation in my own life. That's when I knew not only what I needed to do, but what I wanted to do. I wanted to do for the kids in my circle what had been done for me. See, their family lives aren't much different than how I grew up. Our kids need someone to give them a hand up, just like I was given. I know that 
all of us can make some kind of positive change by starting in our own neighborhood. That's why I said, I need your help. I can't do this alone. I want you to know that everyone has some kind of time we could give to help today's youth. I see firsthand how smart and talented today's youth are, even when the eye is against them. I can promise you that these kids will use their talents one way or another. They're going to use them for amazing things if they have people like us directing their path. But if we're absent, they're more than likely going to use them in all the wrong ways. Look at my brothers. That's what was missing in their lives. That's how it worked. Lies can change, my friend. I learned that God called me in to service as a mentor. And he also calls all of us into service to mentor as others. What I want you to know, yes, you can make a difference. And by God's grace, when we give up ourselves, somehow we're the ones who end up with the biggest reward. I don't want anyone walking out of here thinking Chris Shelley gave a good talk. As a matter of fact, it's not even important if you remember my name. But what's most important to me is that you leave here inspired to go and make a positive change in someone's life as a mentor. It's not about giving them stuff. That's just giving them a handout. It may put a smile on their face for a couple of minutes, but that's not what they really need. It's really about giving our time and attention to these kids what they so desperately need. That's why I call it a hand up. Giving them the kind of positive ideas brings the old saying to life. You give a man a fish, you feed him for a day. But you teach a man to fish, you'll feed him for a lifetime. That, that's how it works. That's how together we could change the world into being a better place. Thank you, and God bless you. Yeah. 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 Yeah.